In this video, we'll be working on making a gravity-fed water filtration system. The Handy Hancocks! Okay, what type of tools will we be needing? Anything like super complicated or difficult, or what What are we looking at here? No, pretty pretty simple. Uh, you got a razor knife, a sharpie, a drill, two drill pit bits. This is going to be for the spigot. It's uh, this is five eighths, and then for the we're going to drill four holes for the the stem of each of the uh, filters. And that's going to be is a 15, 30 seconds uh, drill bit that we're going to be using. So when you were talking about drilling all that, and we were talking about the filters earlier, for this design, we could pretty much use on any filter that has a stem as long as it fits the specifications you need for filtering the water. Right, right. right. From what it looks like, the Black Berkey's, this looks exactly the same as what I use. Um, uh, from what I can tell, if, there, if there's a fluoride filter later that you use, from what I can tell, it, this is the, the drill bit that you would need. All the stems, I think, are the best, this same diameter size. here. Okay. Yeah. You were mentioning something about fluoride, yeah. right? Yeah, so th there are separate fluoride filters uh, for that, and the, the technology in these uh, can't get the, the fluoride um, out, but uh, th th there are specific filters for fluoride okay. right, to, redu re to reduce the amount of fluoride in your drinking water. What these filters do, they filter out a lot of the viruses, a lot of the bacteria, heavy metals, uh, chemicals. chemicals, and like remnants of like medicine that's happened to work into like the uh, municipality's water. Uh, so it's a very good solution for your water filtration needs. Later, whenever we're using it, it's for the most part just going to look something like this. Not your most, it's not the prettiest thing. Um, but this is what we got um, with the spigot later being installed like this uh, to the bottom part of the, the lower bucket. This is, this is essentially what we're looking at. Uh, in the top bucket, you're going to have your four filters later installed uh, through here. So basically on the outside, if we're going to represent what, we're, what he's describing, is this would be going through both the layers, like right inside of there. We Correct. have four inside. I have a little cardboard cutout here, and this is just going to be, these are a little wider than the Berkey's. Um, so I don't need them, I can't put them so close whenever we install them where they're, there has to be enough room for all four of them. Uh, so this is a square piece of cardboard that I just cut, it's about three inches square. Uh, so I, I roughly measured it earlier. So there's our drill points. On our, this is going to become our top bucket. Just roughly, doesn't have to be perfect. Razor blade, clean up any of the leftover plastic that's on there. This is the same diameter as the this is the same diameter as the O-rings that come along with the um, with the filters. So if you have four filters, you have four O-rings. It's a little bigger than the threading on the stem, um, which you don't want it, I suppose you don't want it too tight in there, um, jamming through the, the the stem through there. You don't want to damage this, uh, but later on whenever we install it, we'll put the O-ring in. We'll put some holes through the, through the lid, of course, later, but that's going to be going through just like that. This is going to be our lid that it's going to be sitting on top of. All right, so we just marked it. It's a black lid with a black marker, but that it, it's gonna work fine. All right, so we're gonna make these four holes of our lid. It's gonna be the same match up with the four holes on there. But just make sure when you're drilling it that you're drilling it off the side of the table, so you'll actually put it <laughs> into your table. Of course. Just 
try to clean that up a bit. A bit later too. You get the idea. Okay, so through the magic of YouTube, we've gone through and fastened all four, dry fitted them into the top bucket. Uh, th th we could have probably lined up a little prettier. So now he's going through stacking them up as if they're in use. So there'd be the float inside, and the top, the water, you pour your water into here, you put your lid on. Yeah, water trickles through as it fills up. This raises until it hits the, the bottom of those four stems. So that keeps the water from overflowing from the lid. Correct, yeah, because otherwise without the float, I've done it without the float plenty. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just have to really keep an eye on this kind of, you know, you, otherwise you get used to just tapping it. You can tell if it's empty, you're pretty full. Um, but it, it's a pain if you wanted to visually see it, you have to physically take the lid off, pick it up, see how much is in there. Uh, so if you have the piece of foam in there, all you have to do is, main, is manage the, the top uh, con compartment. So you just open it up, see if it's half full. So you could, you could fill this up without ever really having to worry if the bottom's gonna overflow or not. Okay, so basically besides sanitizing and putting it, everything together, it's ready to use, right? Yeah, uh, and priming, priming all four of them, and uh, we, could, we could show you how to do that as well. So thank you for joining us on this project. Uh, after this video, you now know how to make a gravity-fed water filtration system. So thank you, Peyton, for helping us out on this and showing us how to do it. Hopefully this encourages you to go out and make either a water filter system or some other project. Uh, so if you like this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.